Okay, welcome to the 144th uh, broadcast of the T-Row Show. This is part two. Sorry, folks, we've been having some technical difficulties today and uh, internet going in and out and everything else. So um, we have to start to finish this program. Uh, we have to do a part two. So let's, uh, I've never really done any of this before. I think we've done this in the newspaper, but I've never really done it live. There's things that are missing and everything that, ever, uh, that people are being told. And we got to straighten it out. We just have to do this. And I'm sorry we have to do this, but we have to. So what we got here is this is a back in the 2015 thing, April 8, 28, 2015. It says Alaska State Superior Court Judge Anna, judge of the actual Alaska State. Um, I'll say that again, uh, Alaska State Superior Court Judge Anna, blah, 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 judge of the actual Alaska State, one of the several states of the continental United States. No, it's not, uh, uh, there's no such thing. It's no such thing. You can't um, uh, change the name of a state. The actual name of the state is the state of Alaska. You can have many governments as a part of the state of Alaska, but you can't change the name of the state. Um, now, to give you, if I now understand why she started claiming uh, to be a judge. As to my being a judge, which you never were, you have to be voted to be a judge, and nobody's voted you in. To give you fair, full depth of it, and you have to, uh, you have to learn a lot of history and learn it right now. So I'm going to answer you, and then I'm going to post this letter and let everyone else read it at their heart's delight. Okay, yeah, because it's, it's I'm going to get my ears tickled. Please bear in mind that uh, if you feel, feel stupid or overwhelmed at the end, that's normal. No, you're going to feel uh, overwhelmed because you're going to get your ears tickled. There's nothing in here that's true. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click, click down here. Um, the founding of this country onward, the jurisdiction over the land was split from jurisdiction over the sea. No. What, it, what happened was is there was meets and bounds and seaward boundaries of the eastern states. So nothing was split. Just means that they weren't... Um, uh, they weren't uh, landlocked. That's it. There's nothing to it. So you had to have two different types of laws, which one was uh, admiralty and the other one wasn't. It's on land. Okay, so the continental United States, the actual, there was a continental, the United States of America. There never was a continental United States. The actual geographically defined states is supposed to be upper and lowercase letters, by the way. We keep saying lowercase letters. These are U United Nations states right here and District of Columbia states. Those are states within states. So why? Uh, she's Catholic. So she's going to say, and the District of Columbia is, is, uh, is operated by the Pope Fran or by Pope Francis. So that being said, that's what she's going to do. That's just how it works. We're given jurisdiction over the land. No, they weren't. Because they're states within states, they're illegal. And they're citizens known as American state citizens. No, they weren't. Now you're changing the name upper to upper and lowercase letters right here. That's a lie. Are the ones protected by the Constitution for the United States of America. There never was a Constitution for the United States of America. There's always been an uppercase U and a lowercase T. That was created by the second, um, the second, uh, uh, Declaration yeah. of Independence. Do what? Not the, uh, union. Right. Okay. One's protected by that. So there never was such a thing. There's no such thing as this right here. Okay. That was never written. Okay. Invested with all the powers of civil government on the land. No, it wasn't. All this was a lie. Complete freaking lie. Uh, or inaccurate. Let's put it that way. So you're, you're listing, you're reading something that isn't even close to being true. Okay, the federal United States was created and limited by the Constitution. No, there's no such Constitution here. This was never written. Okay, um, then given jurisdiction over the international jurisdiction of the sea. Um, no, not really. <clears throat> it assumed it, <laughs> but it was stolen by them. Okay, so they were never given that. So she's saying it's a company, but she's also giving it validity at the same time. Because why? She wants you to go back to the Constitution of the United States and quit bitching. And given jurisdiction over international jurisdiction of the sea. No, it wasn't. 
And it says circa 1868. Absolutely not. It was not given that. The federal United States started operating as a corporation doing business uh, uh, as the United States of America, Inc. It was never Inc. It was just doing business as the United States of America. And that was in 1789. And it was a corporation back then. And published its corporate charter as look-alike, sound-alike constitution. We're all familiar with as the Constitution of the United States of America. Um, it, it's it's a ridiculous thing to say. It doesn't really make any sense because none of this, uh, none of the rest of this is true. This is a different kind of document, a corporate charter, as well as being a different document in a, in and of itself, as part of this reorganization of federal United States created state franchises for itself. So, no. These states are not touched by the United States. It's these lowercase s states that are touched by them. That's what they're claiming. The United States is not claiming the uppercase state at all. So what she's doing is just trying to keep you away from that state so you can get back under the Constitution of the United States. That's the whole job. That's what they're doing. Uh, for itself, these are states of states. No, they're not. There's a state of Florida, which is lowercase s state, which is illegal, and then the state of Florida, upper and lowercase s. It's a legal, lawful state that you just happen to not be a part of. So what she's been doing is writing the exact opposite to keep you away from those states. That's what she's trying to do, trying to keep you away from the original states of the union. That's her job. That's the way it operates, okay? These are states of states such as you find described in the Uniform Commercial Code definition section. No, they exist only on paper or corporate franchises in the same sense as your local Dairy Queen is franchise of national parent corporation. No, none of it's true. It's lowercase s state. Now, oh, the people come back. Oh, you can prove you, you, you haven't proved that. Yes, we have. Because the definition of a lowercase s state was changed in 1864 by the District of Columbia. That was after the Civil War. All they did was change the, de the definition of a state, all lowercase s state. All right. So, <clears throat> thus you have Ohio state land jurisdiction. You have state of Ohio sea jurisdiction, complete false. This is state of Ohio within the original union. It's on their constitution, but the constitution was never changed, and it's in a union with states that have seaward boundaries. Very simple. Operating side by side. No. You have two unions, not two states. That's the problem. This other union is run by the British that want a new world order. The one that she keeps telling you that she wants to go to, she wants you to go back to. And it keeps giving you BS paperwork to keep you in it. So we keep trying to tell you. One being the natural jurisdiction owed by the living people on the land. No. And other being a corporate franchise in the business. No. None of it's true. This was a, a bullshit lie that was created by the CIA. All operating in the original jurisdiction of the sea. No. They aren't operating under the original. They're operating in two separate unions. The continental United States is under a plenary, complete control of the living people. No, it's not. The so-called birthright, American state citizens. We have, we each have more civil authority on the land than an entire federal government. No, <laughs> you don't have any of it because why? Because you haven't gone through the naturalization process. Where's your person? Your person is offshore. Okay. That's the way it operates. The federal United States is British controlled and always has been. The federal United States, meaning 1789, yes. That's the only thing we can agree on. So you have a shitload of lies in one little bit of truth. All those courts you think are your courts are not your courts. If you are an American born on the land of the continental United States, they are mishmash of corporate administrative tribunals and martial law courts operating, no. They're just uh, private courts. They're private membership associations that opened up courts. It's not, all that's BS that was just written. The Superior District Court for the state of Alaska is run by the Alaska court system, which is a federal corporation doing business as Superior District Court. 
a privately owned and operated for-profit corporate franchise, which is under contract to act for the state of Alaska, which is another private, mostly foreign owned corporate franchise of the United States Inc., which is owned by and operated by the IMF, which is an agency of the United, United Nations Inc. By the way, the United Nations is a private membership association. Okay, this is just the title of the um, of that, and this is the this is what works within it within that court. They use the same court. Doesn't matter whether it's all caps or not. They just use the same court. They just went in and used the same court of the original state of uh, of Alaska under that constitution, and then they created all these other courts underneath that these low private courts, which are lawyers that did it, attorneys. Okay, so that right there, eh, close maybe, but not really, doesn't really explain it. Okay, now does the local Burger King franchise have any right, and then this is where you start getting the, here, we're gonna dumb this down for you because you're too freaking stupid to understand it. That's what this is right here. Now, does the local Burger King franchise have any right to haul you over to the side of the road and demand you produce a license? See, it's just, it, it okay, basically is saying is, this is what the writer's saying of this. You're too stupid to understand this, so we're going to just dumb it down for you as much as we possibly can. That's what they're saying. Okay, it's the same situation above. The fraud is that of the Yahoo's or merely local franchises, national level governmental services and corporations. No, they're United Nations uh, franchises. That's all. The whole U.S. was was handed over. When was this handed over, John? Handed over to the United Nations in 19-something? 48. 48, yeah. That's when it was transferred over. These are U.N. agencies you're working with. They just yeah. haven't put the blue hats on yet. How do you know that? And I'm telling you, it's true. These are uh, uh, these are really nothing more than private for-profit corporations under the United Nations. Yeah, that's what they are. <clears throat> now, what kind of judge am I? No kind of judge, because you're not a judge. I am their worst nightmare. I'm a judge of the actual Alaska state. There's no such state in existence. Uh, one of the several states of the continental United States. Complete freaking lie. I occupy the actual public office and operate the actual state superior courts. No, you don't. Nobody voted you in there. Now, note the difference. Alaska state, actual state of land? Nope. Uh, come along, which is law of land? Nope. Uh, state of Alaska, state of Alaska, Alaska, all various corporations, Senate? No. Franchises? No, they're not. Private offices operating under uh, either administrative, purely, blah, 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 blah. No, none of that's true. Okay. You know what's really uh, funny here <clears throat> is where's your oath? of office, number one, where'd you sign it? Who gave it to you? Who voted uh, you into office as a judge? What charter are you operating under? Who signed that charter? Where's the social compact that created it, that created the, those that constitution and uh, all that? None of that exists because all of it's required. Okay, now if people can't see the BS in this, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to just I'm sorry, you're, you're lost. You don't get it because you never created a country before. So if that's the case, you would know that you have to have a social compact first. So the state of, uh, of uh, Alaska constitution actually exists. You wouldn't know that you have to come together and, and do that social compact, then, then sign on to that constitution uh, and when you do, <clears throat> now you become a, a state elector, and now you can go ahead and elect your office holders, which is uh, um, uh, which is a basic. Uh, in other words, you're handing or voting over your judicial power to somebody, making them a judge, and they handle your judicial power while you go off and, and work and do your thing. You don't have time to be a judge that day. So you hire a, a, a you know a part-time judge or a full-time judge to get to take care of all these problems for you. Okay, that's what a real judge is. Not make up fake state, and then say you're a judge of that. So everything that's ever been uh, talked about under fake judge um, is complete bullshit. Okay, so 
We've gone over James Clinton Belcher. You know, he's a rapist. Paul Stramer. Uh, maybe, um, you know, maybe, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, related to that other guy, because sure, if he's not the same guy, he sure is related to him. And if he's related to him, um, he's got some serious issues. Because Paul Stramer has to figure out and tell everybody, why did you change your name, your last name, and hide the fact that you were from Germany? Kind of weird. And were you, in fact, or are you, in fact, married to um, Gertrude, who looks an awful lot like Anna, woman calling herself Anna? There's a lot of secrets into this, folks, and all you got to do is just look and follow the trail. You'll figure out that there's a lot of crap going on over there. And there is a August 20, uh, I think it's 24th uh, hearing on this case. And mainly, um, there's been a lot of attacks on the government of the United States of America, which consists of a lot of people. They're very upset at what's going on. They're tired of hearing about it. They're tired of her opening her mouth and lying about what they're doing, what they believe in, and what they love. They're tired of it. They're all signatories. They all sign social compacts. They all have oaths. All those things. Not Well, most of them have oaths. A lot of them are resident declarations. <clears throat> so I don't understand why or what prompted this woman to start or basically draw first blood. I have no idea. Don't know her. Don't really care to know her. I'm tired of her in my life. I'm tired of her in my, my personal life. Uh, lying about my personal life because some people are going to believe that crap. And when they do, you know, uh, that's going to cause problems. That could cause problems as far as somebody shooting or killing because they think that I'm trying to take over their estate or some crap. And we're actually not. We have no claim on your estates. All we're doing is moving them back on shore through the uh, general post office and giving you some kind of standing so you can keep it. You can keep your estate once you've claimed it again. Simple as that. And you can bind your word and everything with an oath. So anybody that tries to take your estate after that, that's called theft, theft of estate. And uh, Tom or John, um, you know, I haven't stolen anybody's estate, have I? And I don't think you have either. Not that I know of. Don't remember being a thief. Yeah, if I did, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. I sure don't have it here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's been all kinds of stuff. Okay, we've been kind of making fun of it, but it is serious. Yes, it is. Oh, Hon honestly, I've never never taken anything to belong to somebody else. Yeah, and all this other stuff uh, that they're, you know, saying about me or whatever, that those are malicious as hell and vile and, man, pure freaking lies. I mean, absolute pure freaking lies. Um, uh, David, you know, David Clarence is evil as hell. That dude is as evil as it gets, and he, he's a thieving son of a bitch. And I'll tell him straight to his face. He's evil. And he wrote some vile crap on, on the Internet about me. Yeah, but the thing over there, though, just because she named you or named me or named somebody else, she's still saying the entire government over here is a lie. Yeah. And there's several, several, several hundred people. And she's actually defamation of character, among other things. Right. There's a lot of different websites around the country that are too, they're, they're freaking dumb as hell, man. They don't, they don't check any of the stuff that she writes. They don't do any background checks. They don't, they don't check on a Belcher. They don't check on anybody. Where the hell streamer come from? Out of nowhere. All of a sudden, we looked on under Heinz Bulas or whatever. That dude doesn't even exist. I mean, there's nothing there, nothing in the about page. You look at it, and all it is about is uh, soccer or some crap that was started before Hitler's time, some soccer organization. I mean, it's like a ghost, but connected with all these other people. Deep connections with Germany. So I don't believe Anna is her name. Uh, we did a background on her, and uh, there's nothing. Uh, uh, it's all just 
It just stops. It's, it's weird. It's a weird situation. Very perplexing because uh, these people, and I believe there's two of them, maybe three. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if Clinton Belcher is even alive. And they're just using his name because those are old pictures. Old 70s pictures. So but why wouldn't you use a current picture of the man? Unless you just made him up. Could be there. Shows that he's in Sitka, Alaska. Um, could be a, a current address. Don't know. But a lot of lying going on. A lot of weird stuff. So this is word to the wise, okay? Now later on we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about the UN and some more important things. We got to get this over with first because there's uh, just so we can say, hey, we told you. Our conscience is clear. If you are deceived over in that under that bunch over there, that is your fault and nobody else's. You can't blame anybody. That's the only reason why I'm doing a program like this. My conscience is clear that. If you are deceived, you deceived yourself. You 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 blinded yourself. Okay, if go these, ahead, John. If these people are not lying, Keith, why are they hiding all their identities? If they hide their identities, they got something to do in that they're not they're not doing right. Yeah, there's something, or they're hiding. You know. Uh, the, yes. It just doesn't make any sense because I think the woman's name is Gertrude, but the right. the name Gertrude is kind of hard to sell. Yes, you know, if you're going to do a show and stuff, they're going to say, "Well, Gertrude, who the hell's Gertrude?" You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's hard to sell. That's not a current picture, by the way. That's a that's that's about a thirty thirty year old picture <laughs> of Gertrude. So oh, at any rate, um, uh, that's all I wanted to say as far as my conscience is clean. You, uh, the T. Rowe show is known for exposing things and looking at facts and showing you things that, that are basically undisputed. And um, we've got another one, um, Zoe Ho or Zoe something. Got to watch that guy. We know who exactly who he is, where he lives, and the whole thing. Because he was yeah. – he, huh? Zio. XO. Yeah, Z-O-X-O. Yeah. And his email, we know he's attacked some other people. And um, we know exactly, he, he, he was using his, um, he thought he was hidden. So he was being all bold and everything until we sent him a picture of his house. And his real name. <laughs> his real name's Marcus. And he lives in Illinois. But, <clears throat> and he's just some bum that's on the freaking internet messing with people. That's all he's doing. He's nobody. But he wanted to use this, uh, you know, his autonomy. You know, he was trying to be all Mr. Cool and I'm this and I'm that. And the things I've heard about you, he tells, he tells me, well, the things you're hearing about me are, are coming from people that we caught doing something wrong. Okay. And when we catch them doing something wrong, all of a sudden it turns into uh, everybody's a fraud except for them. Uh, we're attacking them, you know when we're actually just not doing anything, we're just saying, hey, you lied over here. We got a problem. We're attacking them. They're being abused and oppressed and all this other stuff. And somehow it becomes our fault that they lied. Okay, we had one guy do that the other day. And then all of a sudden he he uh, he asked if we want to still want to do business. <laughs> That's just our head. Hell, crazy people. Okay, so... Um, we found out who that guy is. And folks, if people really want to find you, don't think that you're, uh, you're autonomous on the, uh, or hidden on the internet. We, if we wanted to find you, we're going to find you. That was a, actually a personal challenge when that guy was saying that, because he was coming back and he, he literally turned me into a, he tried to on his, in his wording, he turned me into a uh, psychological st uh, study test subject and didn't even realize he was doing it. That's called practicing medicine without a license, dude. Yep. And he was bragging about being a ghost, and you, you say anything you want about me, and you can't sue me because you can't find me. <laughs> oh, he's got a big ego about himself. 
Uh huh. He was all that in a bag of chips, man. Until he got his name in the picture of his house sent back to him. Then he got real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we're gonna we're gonna uh, hand his case over to uh, one of our human rights defenders, and and we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna uh, train them using his case. And yes, he's gonna go to court. So no problem. But uh, uh, you know, because when we say we do something, we're not we're not we may not do it right away, but we do get to it. A lot of other things, the other things we're dealing with is very busy out there. So there's a lot of things that we're dealing with. Uh, mainly, we got to deal with a company that's trying to murder its its people. So we got to find out why, and who's in charge there, and why they want to disarm their uh, uh, these people to head towards genocide. And that's we know exactly where they're going. It's happened every single time in history, and it's going to happen this time. So why do you want to kill what you call U.S. citizens? Why do you want to murder them? What's the issue? Unless you've got a foreigner that's so powerful, he's got control of everything in that federal section and he wants to do it. So the question is, why would he, and everybody knows who I'm talking about, want to murder a bunch of people? What does he have against the US? And what do Germans have against the US? Unless it has something to do with World War II and a little bit of revenge because they're pissed off because somebody killed or got rid of Hitler, which caused uh, the Vatican to have to hide him for a while. That caused some major issues. And unless this is revenge because the people here, the war, and people in World War II went over there and defeated the Germans and the Germans and the, uh, uh, the, uh, Third Reich is a little bit pissed off, all the communists. So let's go over and defeat the U.S. Let's go over and sneak in all these little offices and confuse them on the Internet and uh, keep them away from their original states and all this fun stuff. Okay? Don't – and because, remember, the Vatican are, are intimate friends with Mussolini that's involved in a bunch of human rights violations and war crimes. That's who recognized the Vatican as a country. So <clears throat> there's a lot of revenge going on here. And I've heard it out of their own mouth, especially from people from the Holy Sepulchre, hate white people with a passion. Want to make everybody brown. There's people right out of that Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem BS that the, uh, uh, the Pope created. So there's some motivation here. It's called revenge. I see it. So at any rate, uh, thanks for listening to the 144th broadcast of the T-Row Show. Sorry for the technical um, uh, difficulties, but uh, I think we got the message across. So we'll go ahead and see you next week.